and trying to outrun these West Covina officers. It is clearly a full moon here in the San Gabriel Valley as uh, we have had uh, about 14 separate pursuits throughout the day today in the Southland. Uh, this is just the most recent one and uh, you can see he's uh, now toying with this officer. This is a real game of cat and mouse gesturing at that officer with his hand out the window. And now the vehicle comes to a stop. Vehicle comes to a stop, the driver with his hands out. Driver with his hands out, officers with their guns drawn, and this might do it. This might be the end. They're actually partially blocking the driver's side there. We'll see if he is able to crawl out. I don't think he may or may not be able to open that driver's side door, but it looks like he's finally giving up here. The vehicle coming to a complete stop. He's communicating with that officer. Two hands out the window. You see a phone? I don't see the phone. He's holding a phone in his hand. There's a phone in his hand. Difficult to make out. It looks like he's communicating with somebody on the phone as he gestures towards these officers. We'll come around and get a better look at the driver here, but he's gesturing at these officers as he's communicating on the phone. He's almost almost looks like he's FaceTiming. All right, if he wants to open up that driver's side door, he can open up the driver's side door. It's unclear what they're ordering him to do, but whatever they're ordering him to do, it doesn't appear that he's obeying. Where'd he come from? They're, they're, this, is, this is a reality show. They're shooting a reality show in the middle of this pursuit. You can see a cameraman and audio tech jumping out of the SUV to capture the action from behind. You have an officer with his gun drawn as they film a TV show at the termination of this pursuit. This is a new one, guys. We've never actually caught this. Caught me off guard for sure. Now you see continuing to communicate with the driver of the vehicle who is still, still has his hands up but still won't let go of that phone. Won't let go of the phone. You gotta wonder if maybe there's a language barrier or something like that. But for whatever reason, it doesn't look like he is, uh, clearly he's not obeying with these orders here. So we have a complicated set of circumstances here. You've got a number of officers on the uh, suspect's left and his right with their guns drawn. We can only see the driver. No idea if there's anybody in that back seat or in the passenger seat. It looks like a male suspect. It's a male suspect now with his torso out the driver's side window, very agitated. The drawer won't, door won't open. Door won't open. He's crawling out with his hands up in the air. Hands up in the air. Now walking towards that primary officer. You've got a television crew trying to stay behind that officer. I wouldn't say they're keeping their distance, but they are clearly behind this officer, capturing all of this with a much, uh, well, really close up views here. We'll be interested to see uh, the video on the other side here, but right now it looks like they are finally able to detain the suspect with his hands on his head, handcuffs being placed on the driver, and I did not see them clear the vehicle, but they must have. Uh, just judging from the posture here, it appears they've peeked inside the vehicle at the very least and they must be confident that there's nobody else inside that vehicle. However, I got to tell you, with those tinted windows, I don't know how they were able to clear that vehicle. We can only assume that it was only the driver inside that car, but uh, I did not see them adequately clear that vehicle. So uh, I think uh, the supervisors will have a field day with this pursuit here in West Covina. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.